All righty, welcome everybody. Uh, today is not the third, today is the 17th um, of October. Uh, as always, um, if you'd like to feel free to sign in um, and if you need access to edit this doc, make sure to join the six store dash dev Google group. Um, we'll do a quick run through of the projects uh, and any status updates. Um, I don't see we have much listed on outreach or any other business. If you have anything you want to chat about, feel free to um, add agenda items. And yeah, we'll just jump right in. Um, for Recore and Fulcio, uh, and also the Timestamp Authority, uh, we cut new releases of all the services this week. Um, if you saw, there was a um, uh, major CVE published. Uh, around HTTP2 servers, uh, allowing a certain denial of service. Um, this was patched in Go 1.21.3. So for Recore and Fulcio uh, and the Timestamp Authority, we updated uh, to the latest uh, Go release. Um, we were also using an old DistroList uh, base image for the containers that we released. So we bumped it to the latest Debian 12 base image. Uh, so that should resolve a bunch of uh, vulnerabilities that scanners might have been picking up. Um, so take a look. Uh, for the most part, Fulcio and Record don't have any major updates, just some bug fixes. Uh, the Timestamp Authority does have a couple uh, added features. Um, Dimitri, thank you for uh, adding those. Um, I believe that is it for the services. And we did not cut a cosign release, though. Um, I'm currently working through a backlog of a few PRs that have been open. Uh, so we'll probably cut a new release soon. Um, for clients, um, I don't believe there were any major updates. Uh, one thing that uh, actually happened two weeks ago, but I don't believe we touched on the last meeting, um, the uh, chair of SIG clients uh, stepped down to move on to a new role. Uh, so the SIG elected two new chairs, um, Apu and Frederick. Uh, they will both um, share the responsibility of co-chairing the client meetings. Uh, so congratulations to them. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to go ping them on the client's channel. Uh, were there any other updates from anybody uh, regarding clients? All righty. Uh, we had some outreach listed last week uh, and some events, but uh, I don't believe there were any updates. Uh, I was mostly looking forward into 2024 about potential opportunities uh, to um, submit talks to some of the open source and uh, major cloud conferences. Um, I don't believe there's any major updates. Uh, I guess I can touch on one real quick, uh, which is that um, Scored and CATS, uh, which is a, a uh, two research conferences on supply chain security and transparency ecosystems, respectively, uh, will be happening in November, uh, on November 30th um, at ACM CCS in Copenhagen. So uh, if you will be there, um, feel free to say hi. Uh, they should hopefully be very exciting conferences. Um, and uh, I'll be able to have a bit of a debrief after those happen. Uh, well, this might be a very quick meeting. Uh, we'll move along very quickly. Um, for office hours, any other business? Um, did anybody want to um, discuss anything? Lance? Hi, I, I missed the first part of your uh, commentary about the new releases. Did you say this was due to a CVE? Yeah, there was a um, CVE, uh, I think it was called Rapid Reset, um, where HTTP2 servers had a certain vulnerability that um, permitted denial of service. Um, this was something that uh, we, as running a public instance, did not have an issue with because we have um, a load balancer set up in front of our services that would have mitigated this risk. But for anyone who's doing private deployments, uh, we wanted to update to the latest version um, if they were also using the uh, HTTP2 servers that were available in um, Recore and Fulcio. Okay. 
Thank you. And so if uh, there were a private deployment, but it was not available to the public, then the only bad actor would be on the, you know, internal in the organization. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, thank you. Were there any other uh, topics anyone wanted to discuss? All righty, well, this will be a quick meeting. Uh, so the last part we um, reserved some time if anybody new to the community would like to say hello. Uh, I see many familiar faces uh, on the call, but if there's anybody new who wants to say hi real quick, feel free to do so now. All righty, well, um, short and sweet. Thanks everybody. I uh, hope you have a wonderful week and we'll chat again in two weeks. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.